Wow. Hello everybody, it's I, Brian Suffy, and today I'm here to bring you my review of the critically acclaimed film, Boyhood. Directed by Richard Linklater and starring Patricia Arquette, L.R. Cole Train, Laurel I. Linklater, and Ethan Hawke. If you haven't heard about this movie, this is the film that was shot over the course of 12 years, beginning in the summer 2002 and ending this past summer. This film was shot in real time, and Richard Linklater, the director of course, wanted to make a movie about the boyhood of this one kid. And that's what basically this movie's about. It's basically the boyhood of this kid from him being in first grade all the way until he's a college freshman. This movie is really special and really important to us film lovers. And I gotta be honest with you guys. This is, hands down, one of the best movies of the year, if not the best I've seen all year. Boyhood is incredible this is a spectacular movie this is a cinematic achievement and richard linklater did a great job he did an amazing job because let's face it this has never been done before this could have gone wrong okay someone could have died someone could have left the film something bad could have really happened that could have ruined the entire film and nothing bad happened the idea of shooting a film in real time over the course of 12 years is impressive and that's not easy i can't even imagine doing that and richard linklater basically shot this movie over the course of 39 days within the 12 year period he would shoot for at least three to five days a week every single summer up until 2013 and it, 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 ah. okay the first time i heard about this movie when it premiered at Sundance, I was like, wait, what? There's no way that could happen. Then I remember hearing all the praise it got. It got so much praise. Everyone I knew who saw it before its release loved the shit out of this movie. They praised it. They are like, this is a cinematic achievement. It's a landmark movie. It's one of the most important movies ever. And I have to agree, this movie is very important to us film lovers and to other people. Everyone should go see this movie when they can. It just came out to a fear near me this past weekend. So I finally got to see it and I just loved it. I can't stop praising this movie. There's so much I have to say. The screenplay by Richard Linklater is great. He wrote a script probably every year. It felt like a short film and that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to make a short film every year and that's what he did. This is impressive filmmaking. Richard Linklater, I haven't seen many of his movies, but I do love every film of his that I've seen. I mean, I love Days of Confused. I love, love School of Rock and I love the Before series. There's other movies out there that he's made, but to me, this is his best. This is his work of art. This is his masterpiece. I gotta be honest. If he does not get a best screenplay, director, or best picture nomination, I'm gonna be so pissed off at the Academy. He at least deserves a writing nomination. At least. And directing. If he doesn't get best picture, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. It probably will get best picture. I mean, it's gotten so much praise. Let's talk about the acting. I gotta start with Patricia Arquette and Ethan Hawke. Patricia Arquette gives her best performance. This is her best performance ever. She deserves an Oscar nomination. She was so powerful as this troubled single mom who's gotten divorced many times. It's just so difficult for her, and you really feel for her. It's heartbreaking. It really is. Ethan Hawke is the father who starts off like a little kid because he's kind of weird in the beginning but then he evolves into someone better by the end of the movie he was also great this is one of his best performances as well he also deserves an oscar nomination now let's talk about the kids first let's start with l coltrane who plays the main character mace in the beginning of the movie his performance is kind of meh but then once you get to the end of the movie his performance evolves year after year after year he evolves as a character and as an actor and as a person he was great he really did a great job also i think he deserves an oscar nomination too i've been hearing he might get one too which is very interesting but he did great and laurel i linklater as a sister yes she's Richard linklater's daughter so don't ask she was great too she had a lot of funny moments she stole the show in my opinion she was the scene stealer she stole pretty much every scene that she was in. But the great thing is, you see these kids not only grow up on screen, but you grow up with them. And by the end of the movie, you're like, wow. I may have only spent 2 hours and 45 minutes with them, but it felt like 12 years I spent with them. If you truly want to see this movie, please see it when it comes to a fear near you. I'm begging you. I have no problems with this movie. This movie is one of the best movies of the year. It's one of the best movies of the decade. And it's one of the best films, I think, of the century. A lot of people have been saying that. Guys... You already know what I'm going to say. Boyhood gets an A+. So guys, if you've seen Boyhood, tell me what you thought down below. I can't wait to pick this movie up on Blu-ray. I'm so excited. What did you think of this movie? What's your favorite Richard Linklater movie? 
other than this, mine is probably School of Rock. I love Daisy Confused, but School of Rock is School of Rock. Come on. School of Rock. Thank you all for watching my review, and I will see you soon.